Mario once again with MIA Microflight and this is uh, my fifth uh, building for this uh, turbo racing track layout here. I just uh, completed the uh, structure. I'm uh, about to print the windows uh, that you see in blue here. I still have to do the windows for the bottom section here. But the structure has been already completed and this is what this uh, building looks like. So that's uh, my 3D model, and this is what the model looks in 3D form. Without the windows, I still have to uh, add the windows and lighting inside, and so that's uh, that's going to be a nice, nice add-on to this uh, layout, and we'll eventually balance the. Uh, it just balance the uh, layout uh, as far as the buildings are concerned you know in this uh, 8 by 4 layout here so I started with these buildings here this was my first one right here this uh, sort of uh, garage and uh, area for the for the cars so that was my first one this uh, tall one here was my second this is my third this is my fourth building right here and this one right here is my fifth building and so after this building I have already started working on this uh, 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 walk uh, through pass or tunnel here. It's going to be a glass tunnel. And so that's going to be uh, actually my, would be my sixth uh, building. It's not a building, but I'm calling these buildings just to keep it, uh, keep it in this uh, group here. So that, that'll be uh, the sixth uh, element in these uh, structures besides that one here and then from there I think I'm gonna work on this uh, area here I'll finish this area here that um, uh, will be some kind of a mountain or a, a dirt uh, area here well not not so much dirt uh, you know per se but it'll have uh, trees and uh, it'll it'll be a nice little hill here with uh, with trees I think that'll that'll bring this uh, this area out uh, really nice here and it'll be a nice uh, uh, scenery uh, a background you know for the for the for the for the track here as the cars are going through you know I do plan on using some FPV cameras on these little guys once I'm done with this and we'll film it from that point of view but um, that's my my tree here my tree not my tree but I've been I've been making trees as well that my, my mind is on trees right now so uh, yeah uh, this building came out pretty nice um, you can see here how I lay out my my parts here, depending on the size of the machine, this uh, this one's for my Anycubic i3 Mega, so the footprint of the uh, build platform or the uh, hot plate is a little bit smaller than this guy here. These, these are 220 by 220 millimeters, uh, uh, and these are 300 uh, by 300 millimeters. So the uh, this is from for a uh, two trees um, uh, Sapphire Plus uh, Five machine, which uh, has been printing uh, quite nicely. Some of these parts, it, it's not, uh, you know, it's not as um, it's got the its little quirks. You know, it's not as uh, consistent as my Anycubic i3 Megas. You know, my Anycubic i3 Megas are very very nice machines, and uh, uh, you know they don't spew out um, uh, material. Um, as much as uh, this um, Sapphire Plus, you know, this one tends to spew out material, so I have to lower the temperatures on this machine here below what I print on my Anycubic i3 Megas. Um, but once I got that calibrated, I've been printing consistent parts here, and you can see all these parts here that, that I just showed in my building, my 3D printed building, you know, all, all those, um, uh, all these parts were printed on that, on that machine, uh, as opposed to my smaller buildings, who, which were printed on the Anycubic i3 Megas. Um, so yes, uh, this is uh, where I'm at right now, and uh, I thought I'd do another segment of this uh, of the of the uh, of this project here. Anyway, Mario, once again with my microflight. Stay tuned for more.